Hey everyone, today I'm going to try and paint the tank. I've got my paint, the stickers haven't come yet, the uh, the Arrow 125 labels. I do have the black vinyl uh, tape, which I'm going to use to sort of trace these sort of patterns. I needed to paint the tank because I've told it before. I spilled petrol on here and it ate the paint. Uh, I've got some bad, you know, paint bleeds anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got the navy, I've got white, this is ivory, but I've got proper white, so you should be able to tell the difference massively. Um, so yeah, it'll look super brand new white, that'll look nice. I've got some clear lacquer, glossy, so I can put some paint um, layers on here to protect the paint. There is a lacquer that I found called um, petrol resistant lacquer. So I should have got some of that, but I, I bought these like a month ago. So I've just been sat around waiting for the stickers. I've waited for these stickers about two weeks now and they've not come. I got told four days delivery, so I don't know what uh, that was about. So they've not come yet. Disappointing, but I'm just gonna crack on and just paint the tank anyway, because I can always put the stickers on a uh, later date. So yeah, I'm gonna take the tank off and uh, start sanding it and primer paint it, because I've got some primer paint as well. So yeah, let's uh, start that. I'm getting a bit annoyed now because I keep getting these crackly effects if you can see them. I don't think you will be able to, hold on. Yeah, you might be able to see it a bit better now. With it all cracking like that look, you see what I mean? So I need to sort this out. The area around here is a bit all needs better smoothing out. And then everything else is nice and smooth. So yeah, I just need to sort this area out here. So yeah, get that sorted out. So, I'm going to try and put a bit of white on here while I can. I'm changing that, by the way, that pet cock. So, um, yeah, I don't need to worry about that. Because this one keeps jamming up. So, I'm not sure 
like the handle don't want to turn to go on and off so um yeah uh i'm gonna turn it round and do the other side as well at the same time so i'm gonna do the other side separately to this side i'll only show you one side because of what time it is and i don't want to spend too long filming before it starts to rain so we have some good news and bad news bad news is it keeps starting to rain now and again so i've had to bring it inside um good news is it, it the more paint i'm putting on the better it looks and i think i've got enough for another two coats and then that's that as i want to put you know quite a few layers on it so i can sand it back down again so i can get it nice and smooth don't worry about stuff like this where it's all a bit creased and stuff because i'm putting this tape back on top of it so it's going to cover it so yeah get that nice and painted and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow So, I got all that masked off, now I'm going to fill the hole with some tissue to stop it from putting paint inside of it.
So, that took a while. I got it all dry, it should be all right. Gotta give this a little bit of a shake. Right now I've done that, I'm going to put it inside so stuff doesn't land on it. So like what I did before, let that dry for 15 minutes, come back out, another layer, another layer, uh, possibly another layer, and then let it dry for a few days, come back, um, then put some clear coat on it. But I will have to put clear coat over the whole thing, like take the mask and tape off, uh, spray clear coat all over the thing, sand it all down again, then another layer, then that should be fine. It's taken a fair amount of days to do this. That's what she said! <laughs> and I'm really tired. So, I've just done another coat, and you didn't know, because I completely forgot to film it. Oh well, while the paint, well, the, the paint, the clear coat is dry, drying, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to start peeling away the masking tape, and I kind of want to start with this, the little, uh, the little black bit, because it makes better for peeling it away. say it is a clean line and not a clean line but it don't matter because it's getting covered up that line with more of this black tape so I can have some iffy points on it some ears I don't look too right but it don't matter I can get away with it The finish on the white is not as good as the blue. And I'm alright with that. Because I can sand it nice and smooth. Like here. I don't know if you, you should be able to see that. That is just pretty bad. But I can sand that out. Small bit of paint bleed. Don't worry about it. Because I can sand that out. I keep getting a bit fed up with this now, it keeps raining. I'm on day 13 and I'm actually getting really annoyed. Because I keep having to sit around waiting for paint to dry so I can sand it, clear coat to dry so I can sand it, just so I can put another layer on. This is the last time I'm going to be sanding this tank, right? 
I'm going to be sanding it, putting the labels on, putting the decals on, doing clear coat it so I can seal it all, and then that's that, that that's, it's done. But it keeps raining, it keeps uh, making the days go on and on and on. If it wasn't raining, it probably would have been done by now. I know I have to wait a day or two for the clear coat, but it's the fact that most days I can't do it because it's raining. And it keeps messing up the paint job, so I've got to sand it, repaint it, then I've got to wait it again because it keeps raining. So, it's getting a bit irritating this one. I just put the coat on, it went on a bit alright, but I'm just going to let that dry, put another coat on because I've got another cam, and then leave it for a few days so it will fully dry so I can put the decals on. Well, I'm happy to say it's done. It looks good. Them days might have been worth it, you know, because it actually looks pretty good. I've got a little run here, but it's it's not really noticeable unless I point it out. Now you're all going to try and point it out in the comments section. But it looks good. I think the tank makes the bike look like it's a proper cafe racer. It has a name. One, two, five. I think people can figure out what that means. I'm going to take this off and weld it. Oh, that's duct tape for when I try and start it. Dog's going off. They need a cameo. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and just weld it on and spray it with some high temp paint. I've got some parts coming um, maybe tomorrow. That'll be a video coming up. Um, I've got the disc rotor coming with the bolts. A tube that goes on here. Um, that's pretty much it. There's not much I can do to the bike now. It's actually really at the point of finishing. It looks good. Now I'm finishing this. It's going to be more focusing on building the new workshop. It's going to be nine by twelve, and it should be pretty good. I'm actually in by safety gear because I'm actually going to probably try and make a small video about doing the wood base. That's going to take a few days, because it keeps trying to rain. But yeah, I'm happy with this. It looks good. Speaking of which, I just felt a raindrop. But no, thank you for watching, liking and uh, commenting on my videos that I've been doing my bike. It's a bit weird finishing a project. It's like, it's a celebration, but it's like, that's it. What do you do next? Motor vlogs? That, that's, I probably wanted to do that. Um... But no, I'm actually really happy with this bike. I've got to change a spring down here because that's a bit loose. So I can tinker around with it still. I've got bits and bobs. But next month I'm going to try and fit it in for an MOT. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And look forward to the next video.